Pushing. Boom. I was born ready. I was. We were born breathing too. Was he? I Some hope of us so. weren't. Well, you probably weren't. There, there's that point in time when you get to. Yeah. You're still attached to the umbilical. You get all your. Life yeah, you're still yeah exactly. You don't need to breathe. Actually, you're. I'm thinking no one is born breathing. That's true. You start you're breathing. Right. A, Good point. A, a little while after, yeah. so. There you go. Do we want to call this Rumbler in the Tumbler or DMCA still less popular than the YMCA? <laughs> I like DMCA <laughs> less popular than YMCA. Uh, I well, like that. Any too. others in there that caught your eye there, Roger? Uh, I like it. Sounds kind of silly, but better safe harbor than sorry. Mmm. I, I kind of like that on one too. Awesome. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like it, and it, and it makes sense. Um. Although I have to give an honorable mention to McCartney urges swift copyright laws for you and you too. Uh. It's a bit long, but. So yeah. does, does Taylor Swift make all these decisions like, like, like her, or is it her like you know? I think she is involved in them. I have a feeling that it is a it is a committee that she is has a significant presence on because she she actually takes a lot of this stuff into her own hands and speaks extemporaneously about it. So I, she knows about it, but I have a feeling that her her business manager and, and advisors kind of team up and decide on a, a direction. Tag team. You're talking about Taylor Swift? Yeah. Well, she was pretty vocal about the Apple thing herself, yeah, specifically. Exactly. So, Although I'm, thinking she I'm knows. almost certain she and her managers had a conversation before she yeah. got vocal, right? So. Yeah. But yeah, like, that's a good example of her being able to speak about it. Like, she knew what she was talking about. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, so there's one thing we didn't talk about. Maybe we should have. There are more than one thing, but which one are you noticing? Did you see the the French uh, Google Images thing? No. I think it might not have reached uh, English news yet. Basically, it it was just voted in that... Uh, <laughs> I hate my country sometimes. Um, Google Images will now have to pay a copyrights tax, basically, to copyrights owners for Google Images. Oh, that would have been a nice thing to talk about in, Wait, in so the like, context of the YouTube. So it like, slipped my mind. Search, even like, so if you do like an image search, say Eiffel Tower, and it pulls yeah. up pictures, you have to pay each of those people. Well, I, I'm guessing they will pay an organization that handles the way, you know, they... Like the, a rights who, organization? Yeah. 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 And of course, if you can't find the author of that piece of content, then the organization itself keeps the money. Yeah, that's the way a lot of uh, the it's the way the Authors Guild in the United States yeah. wanted to handle the books that he, that Google was scanning. Yeah, but I think in the case of the books, maybe some of them you wouldn't know who wrote them, but most of them you would. In the case of Google Images, how is that even going to work? And well, would, would oh, it, my God. Would it work? Maybe it's a good thing we didn't talk about it. I, my head would have exploded. So wait, how would, would it just be on the Google France web, website? Or well, no. It... As we know, uh, France believes that the right to be forgotten should apply to all instances of Google worldwide, no matter whether French people are looking at it or not. So what therefore, if... uh, it'll probably apply worldwide. What if we just yeah, I don't know, but... France? I think that is ultimately what might need to happen. Well, you know what? Google pulled Google News out of Spain when they passed a law saying that they would be forced to pay rights to have excerpts. Yeah. I am curious whether Google will just pull the image search in France and say sorry. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that would it would be possible. Like how would it even work? Do you have to identify each image and know who it belongs who well, is they're the tagged. copyright owner? You can there? filter the search by uh, by copyright or Creative Commons or public domain. 
Uh, of course. So my guess yes. is what what they'll propose is some this some like you say some third party agency will go through and say uh, we see these many images showing up so you owe the, we've figured this amount of money. Uh, and and then it'll be up to that third party to divvy up the money, which, like you say, won't go to a lot of people because they won't be able to find all of them. Yeah, that's like technically I'm guessing they can do like a, a certain amount per year or, you know, like a, a license or maybe it's going to be a percentage. But then how does it even uh... well, again? It, it's easy for Google to do if they want to. They'll just be like they'll be billed and they'll pay the bill. Right. It's yeah, actually yeah, no, but great I mean, for Getty Images. Identify? Any of the big image companies will say like, yes, there are these many. We are owed this much money. They'll collect a large amount of that. So that it's again, it's big companies and big governments coming to an agreement that they don't care about the rest of us. They're not going to bother to try to give the rest of us any money. And they're not trying to protect the rest of our rights. They're trying to protect the rights of Getty Images. Maybe. Uh, I mean, big mm -hmm. image. It's all about big image. It's big image and big stock photos. Um, Shane is asking, uh, is saying their links to the real pages yes. they're on. Yes, of course, that's what they are. I guess that's a way to identify the owner. But then if the page is, if I use one on my page. Well, and do you get more money if it gets searched a lot? Like, or is it just being listed in the index? Nobody knows. Yeah. No, this is, what if you're not this a is asinine. Like, if there's pictures I've taken that show up on image search, yeah. would I get a cut? Would yes, I get you should. Cut? From France. I certainly, well, okay. All right. Now, this is getting interesting. Does that mean that anyone's images that shows up there because it, I'm sure I can find a way to make my images show up. Do I get money from that rights collecting agency thing? In that case, I might be all for that uh, system. They're fencing in the Wild West, just like the real West. <laughs> all right, actually. Um, following that rage-inducing piece of news, um, I have to go because I have to prepare stuff. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. So ah, okay. So you're just going back to France to visit? Yeah, for a little bit. Cool. So no problem for tomorrow for next week's show. Excellent. Well, then we'll talk to you next week. Thank you, guys. Bye, Thank chat room. You. I'm looking at the chat room as I'm saying bye. Bye, All chat room. Right. Bye, Pat. Bye, Roger. Bye, Tom. Bye, Ellie. Sleeping alley. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind a couple of pennies. No, actually, no. What am I gonna do with a penny? What well, that's you... the thing. You're gonna get pennies. Everyone's gonna get pennies. No one's yeah. gonna be happy. Like, what's the point? Uh, Alpha Geek Radio went off for some reason, and I don't know why. It's trying to reconnect, but it can't. So if you're watching this on video, pass it along to your audio friends. But uh, the entire audio will be available, I think, still, because I haven't stopped it in the treasure chest. Ah. I'm almost done. I'm editing the ID3 tags now. What if they paid out in baguettes? In baguettes. It'll be interesting. I mean, it's definitely a formalization of a lot of the stuff on the internet. Yeah, but it's impossible. It's oh, it's okay. it's trying it's trying to treat the internet like paper. It's it's a horrible idea. That, that's not what Google is doing. Google is showing you. And you, here's the thing that always gets me about all this stuff, and Google News was the same way. You, as a website owner, can stop them from indexing your image and showing yeah. it on Google. They don't want that because they want people to discover the images. They also want to get money. They want both things. Like if, if, you, get a, if you get a Google image hit on like an iStock photo, you get a watermarked image. It's like totally unless you're using it for a kid's birthday card and they don't know what a watermark is. Right. It's 
you know, you have to pay money for uh, for is the. Is that rate. what you do with Ellie? Is that why you said that? She's young. Her eyes are. She doesn't stuff. know. You can't say a watermark. That's just a special. <laughs> that just means we though. love you more. DMCA. DMCA needs to be revised the other way. It needs to be yeah. reduced. We have way too much copyright protection. We also have way too much copyright infringement, but this obviously having laws doesn't make it less. So why so strengthening the laws is not gonna do anything. Well that's the thing about laws is that laws really only work when if the society is willing to to go along with them. You know, I, that that can sound like a cop out, but the fact of the matter is what you should probably have is a law that reflects society's values, which is society believes in fair use. They believe that if something is, is relatively easy to get, that they should be allowed certain uses of it. So either you have to come up with a passive way to collect the income, uh, which is like, you know, the internet tax that it gets divvied up, which is kind of what France is talking about with Google Image, to be honest. That, that is a more reasonable way to approach it. Or you just change fair use laws to say like, well, you know what? Things on the internet are infinitely copyable, which makes them less valuable as copies. So you need to find other ways to monetize them. The thing that you can monetize on the internet is access, not well, copy. You know, and that's the thing is like, you know, you can put put photos up and you can just offer only like a limited resolution version, right? If you want something that you can blow up like into a, you know, a 12 by you know 11 frame or something, and you're gonna have to pay money. But if you're happy with a 400 by 200 image, you know, all pixelated up hanging in your hallway, it's, I, it just seems kind of weird. It seems like there's a lot of, there's a lot of bureaucracy. Well, because you're, again, you're trying to treat yeah. digital things like paper. And I, and, and the problem is everyone's using this as a way to benefit their own particular industry rather than doing what's actually beneficial for the entire economy. Everyone who makes money on, on paper and plastic wants to keep making that same amount of money on digital. And so they want laws that will try to formalize that rather than saying, well, you know what? The same amount of money is gonna be made under digital. It's just gonna be made differently and it's gonna be made possibly by different people. And we just have to live with that. Uh, and, and people are like, well, I don't want to live with that. Musicians can make money under digital. It just has to be done differently. You can't force it to be done the old way. It's a, it's a, it might be a generational mindset change. Shift. I used to think that for sure, but I've noticed that a lot of younger creators are also more protective of their intellectual property than my generation because they grew up in a world where they were constantly being hammered that you must protect you must respect intellectual property and so they're like well then i'm going to respect mine too well i think part of it is also like people see it as an opportunity however remote that it's going to be some sort of financial reward down the line and therefore you take you take proactive steps well, yeah, I mean, that's what they've been taught. And that's what I'm saying is everybody wants to make money off the old way. That, that's motivating everything. Yes, absolutely. But this whole musicians thing uh, that Irving Azoff kicked off, this is all about getting Google to bend over the barrel, uh, putting pressure on them to negotiate for a better rate. To a certain extent, I don't blame them. I think that, yes, you should do everything you can to pressure YouTube. What I don't want is a law that changes things for other people just so you could get a better royalty rate. You mean rent seeking? You don't like yeah. rent? Seekers? Well, no, it's not exact. No, it's not rent seeking. That's not what they're doing. They're doing, pre they're doing lobbying pressure to change one thing that can help them that will have wide impacts on other industries, and they don't care about that. And I don't want, the, I don't want the, the collateral damage is not worth it. But isn't that the very definition of rent seeking, like adjusting laws to benefit you at the 
without necessarily That's having... not how I understand rent seeking, but maybe yeah. I don't understand it right. Well, I type in search in Wikipedia, but I have a baby on me. <laughs> All right. I think I've published the show and I think I did it right. So thanks everybody for watching and we'll talk to you soon.